Hey, everybody, and welcome to a series that, as impromptu as this is, I'm just going to name it the Three Musketeers series. I am your host, Northern Lion, joined by my esteemed co host, Arumba. Hey! As well as Mathis Games. <laughs> yeah, yep, 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 that's me, Mathis Games. Three Musketeers. Exactly. Three are the Three Musketeers Spanish, actually? I think so. But well, they are now. Yeah, exactly. We're going to rewrite history. So oh, we're playing three. some uh, cooperative and adversarial Crusader Kings 2. Uh, I'm going to be over here as the king of Galicia, or as Roomba said, I should call it Galley CIA, which makes it seem way more menacing. Uh, and we've got uh, who is Leon here? Is this a Roomba as the king of Leon? Yes, that's right, my brother. You are and, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> and Mathis as the uh, the king of Castile. So uh, King Sancho. Sancho is a great name. It is a great. What are you? Who are you? Ooh. You're King Alfonso. And Ooh, I'm nice. King Garcia. I don't know. I feel like I kind of got the short end of the stick in the name game. King Garcia, let's take a look. Yeah. Oh, you're zealous. You're arbitrary. You're honest. You're rough. Oh, you're rough. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm going to um, subjugate you and then talk after <laughs> that. But uh, basically, we're going to be doing some uh, multiplayer CK2 for the first time after a, well, first time for me anyway, after a substantial uh, period of technical issue. We finally got it working and seemingly working perfectly as well. So uh, just to talk about this right off the top. Um, we're going to be playing simultaneously, and you can check out the videos for the uh, perspective of Arumba and Mathis over on their channels, which will be linked in the video description below, and I assume vice versa if you're watching this on one of their channels right now. It's possible. Yep. I might do that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's going it's to happen. We'll talk. We will. We will. Yep. All right. Why don't, we, uh, why don't we begin then? Okay, speed two good? Speed two is, is okay with me, although it's been a little while. It has been a while, but I, sh I, I should be all okay, right. Okay, it has, it has right. begun. Yes. It has begun. So the, our, our immediate threat is going to be to the south. So we kind of have this agreement that we're going to try and fight off the, uh, what is it? You said the Umayyads are going to be the big problem? Uh, well, that's, that, not really. Not That's actually, I was wrong. That was at the 867 start. But we've got, you know, the Muslims. You, you, we, should, yeah. we could call it the three conquistadors, actually. That might be more fitting. Ah, I like that. But um, I have, of course, our sister. Do you guys know that we have a sister, Princess Araka of Castile? Am I your Am I your brother? Are we all she brothers? is such a bitch. Yeah, we're all brothers. Yep. Oh, nice. She's in Zamora, and she has claims oh. on all of our shit. So watch out. All right, I'm at war. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. There Call was us a, there in, was man. A, a civil war that has begun. I don't. I've got to get used to the interface again. Just give me a second, okay? Are you gonna slow down? You gonna slow down? Ah, uh, no, nah, no. Nah, it's it's okay. It's a very small war that I don't anticipate it being a no, problem. No, it's important. You got to call us in. It's important. All right. Oh, large bands of rebels have flocked to the. It's here, important. There's one for you and uh, one for you. Please join me here. If we, if gotta... if you actually lose like half of your army to this little tiny Portugal, Portugal, yeah. whatever it is, problem, <laughs> then you immediately get attacked by the Muslims. So yeah, is that true? Go... Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, the man. the Af Tasid. They're waiting. They're going to to attack you. That if frightens you lose, me. If you lose power. Wow, Portugal. Seriously, what were you thinking, man? <laughs> Wasn't yeah. even for succession, just for elective monarchy. We're not. The world's not ready. Like, for that. look, <laughs> they're a bit too forward thinking. I Which agree. one of you? Okay, so Garcia is is Northern oh, Line. No. Oh, one thing you could do in the uh, in the outliner, top right corner, you can turn yeah. on players, which is actually good. Humans oh, in multiplayer that we can click on them. Where is this? In the outliner, there's like a. It's to the right, oh, okay. right of the screen. There's like three buttons. There's a one that looks like a play button, a lock, and then a open outliner category configuration. Okay. You click on that, and then... Oh, humans in multiple. Yep, ah, and that way oh. you can see us, and you can also click on it to go straight to them. Gotcha. Nice. All right. All right, Sancho, I don't want you leading my troops. I don't need you to die right now. <laughs> a horrendous turn of events for everybody. Come to Santiago, save me! I'm working on it. Did you guys get a request from the King of Norway? Uh, no. If we accept, we'll be part of the Norwegian invasion. I... I'm not a big oh. fan of the Beatles. I'm going to refuse that. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to come in with you on this battle then. That sounds good. I'll be there on the uh, 15th of March. Oh, perfect timing then. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to win this one. I would hope so. <laughs> our, sis our sister is fabricating a, a claim on the Duchy of Leon. So she's going to have to go into the prison now. Oh, she raised her flag in rebellion. Uh-oh. Oh, you Now you oh, have man. a war. <laughs> our sister <laughs> our sister's being a little bit of a witch. And here I am in Castile, just fine, happy with what I All am. Right, I'm gonna you know, um, King King Garcia, you're leading armies. Yeah, I'm a man of the, with a the plan. All right. All right, I just don't want you to die in combat. That Look at this, we just trounced these men. 
We did. If you die, then it goes to, uh, to Mathis. Oh no. I mean, you could die then. Uh, how do I change that again? Do I? It's on the ruler screen. Um, when you start marching your armies, it'll bring up like the tabs for your leaders, the three tabs of your army leaders, and you just click on your name and change it to somebody else. <laughs> okay, so apparently, no? are, are you going to help me against our sister? Yes, I, I have. Uh, <laughs> I've requested your call to arms. No, you didn't request me. What, you don't like me or something? I can. I will. Sorry, I'm, I'm being overwhelmed by the uh, amount of things going on here. Okay, I have the troop screen. How do I stop my ruler from uh, leading this army? Uh, you can't do it while you're sieging. You have to... Here, we'll pause it for you. Sure. Click on, your, click on your army and then tell it to move to another county. Okay. And now you can go to the assigned rulers screen. Uh, okay, how do I get to the assigned rulers screen? So do you have your army highlighted? Yes, I, I have like... So, and you have them marching yeah, somewhere? In the middle is... So do you, see the, do you see the three people leading your army? Yeah. Or where? It might be just one. So click on your leader, your, like your guy's mm -hmm. name. And then you just pick somebody else out of that list. Uh, okay, well, you, you can probably unpause it now. Oh, okay. But then make sure you keep your men sieging. Okay. So here's something really cool is um, Mathis and Northern Lion. I don't think either of you have used the keyboard shortcuts mod before. This is correct. No. So, like, who's who's got that army in Porto right now? That's, that's uh, in Porto is me. Okay, so click on the army and then just press the B key. All right, I click on the army, hit B. That opens up. All right, it brought up my... Oh, okay. Now, hold, whole new... now you can press B to, to shift troops from the left to the right, or press Z to shift them from right to left. Oh, nice. So you can kind of use it like a slider. So what you should do right now is actually... Is bring some men over to you? Nope, just... And tr oh, no, move them around. Take the 2700, split it into three groups of about nine, and then carpet siege. Siege all of... Uh, what's his face? You got to throw Duke Nunu the second <laughs> of Portugal in jail. Salamanca has, like... Or sorry, not, not Salamanca. Brock Gangaka. Oh, that was not good. Mm, that that sounded better. It was actually much better. <laughs> there's uh, uh, <laughs> Yes, there's there's uh, too many men to be sieged. Like I have just not quite enough to actually successfully complete a siege. Really? Could you could you possibly toss me, Matt? This like literally seventy four men. Here, I'll send some army. All right. Help you out. I, yeah, I can do that. Oh gosh, my chancellor. Sancho. My chancellor just improved relations with our with our sister. While we're at war with her. So he uh, shows up, and he's all diplomatic-like. Call to arms. How, how do you guys feel about that call to arms? Did you just get one? Did not. Yeah, who was it, though? That was Aragon, was. and they're fighting that, um, the Hudid, I think? Oh, gotcha. All right. We're dealing with our own. Exactly. Story. I'm going to solve my problem first. Also, and I need to get married really bad. Same. And uh, it's pretty good counsel, actually. I should make them do something. Uh-oh, the Pope doesn't like me. I see, you won't be alive that much longer anyway, so... Why, are you, are you plotting to kill me? <laughs> no, no. Don't, don't worry about it. You, uh, you give me too much credit. I do have a plot to kill King Sancho. Okay, so really? That's not nice. Mm -hmm. Why but would I mean, you do that? It's, a, you it's available. I'm not saying I'm doing it. Oh, yet. okay, okay. Oh, well, you made me <laughs> panic for a no minute. No problem, what, man. What did I do against you? <laughs> the Pope is upset awesome. with my law of free investiture. The Holy Father is asking us to change it. Hmm. Okay, so I could change to Papal Investiture. Sounds good. Um, I don't really have amazing wives to choose from. Same. I am going to go into the, the, the one I want. deep screen here. Search all. That's what I just did. I didn't find much. Oh, no. Is the 1066 star? There's always like that one Christian, like 16-year-old princess of the Ho <laughs> Holy Roman Empire. I mean, she. this girl right here is pretty solid for military strength. But I'm gonna lose 300 prestige marrying her because she's just a courtier. Okay. A courtier, whatever. You want. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Naive appeaser who was chased seems choice. Um. Hmm. Women, she's not in prison. Oh, search. Oh, that might be the problem. That was my silly decision there. Uh, why not just use the uh, the marriage finder button? It, it's all just courtiers for me. There's one princess. Yeah. And she's 14 though. I don't want a princess. I found the princess of Norway. She's my, my lusty lady. <laughs> There's like three princesses and then all courtiers after that. Oh, dude, she's actually chased. Dang it. <laughs> that's not good. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Perhaps we should kill her. <laughs> you <laughs> just married her. And a half. I know, but you know, I got it's married. a honeymoon. I became uh, betrothed. I married a 16 year old genius. Nice. High five, brother. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it's not gross at all. 
Um, what are, how, Look, how old are only you? Only 31. Your dude's only 31. Jesus, he's got like a real Breaking Bad type thing going on there. Yeah, he does. I don't know. My guy, my guy looks kind of pathetic. I like your beard. <laughs> well, thank you. It looks like somebody just told him that like he's gonna lose the kingdom. He's like, oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I have title succession on on my death. No shit. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna grow a beard just like you, cause I can. Is there a grow beard option? Uh, if you have the right DLC, yeah. Well, since we can use your DLC because you're hosting. <laughs> yeah, go to your character screen. There should be a little. Look at there's like go, a little barber. Go to the barber. Oh, the barber. dude, what is that from? That's uh, DLC. the DLC. Yep, I gave you it's all not, my DLC. It's not ruler design. Oh, to the heroic King Sancho. Blessings upon you and your house. We request that you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against King Eric II of Sweden. Yeah, sure. Wait, Let me right? just get my fleet together and I'll. <laughs> Declining would cost us twenty-five prestige if we. The Norwegian holy war for Berglesgan. Again. Is the siege still going here? Because it looks like it's not going for me. In, well, we're uh, playing on speed two, so it's just really slow. I don't even no, see the other bar though for like fatigue, or is that because I'm not leading the siege? Correct. You might, yeah. Okay. I, might I, I still need like seventy troops um, down here. <laughs> who is this guy? Am I married to his like sister or something? What obligation do I have to you? Uh, press F two, go to allies, and you can see how you're allied to him. Oh, okay. Smart. I don't see him in my allies list at all. Then there's no re- I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea why. <laughs> you are all my allies. I have uh, the mayor of Toro for some reason, but that's it. He's not in here. So do you- Why am I obligated? Do you have any problem with me keeping her sister in prison for the rest of her life, or- yeah, By all means, man. She sounds like I mean, she's dude, a real she, problem. She took my toys when I was growing up. <laughs> she's got claims on her t I could I could just execute her, if you don't mind. I become a kinslayer, but you know. I just I will turn the other way. That's totally up to you, yeah. <laughs> Normally, what happens when you're playing with other AI is like, you either Mathis or Northern Line, one of you two would support her claims and try to overthrow me. <laughs> so I'm thinking I should just kill her. <laughs> no danger of that right now. Right, yeah, not right now. Maybe. Let me go check my council. I haven't even looked. Oh, they love me. That's a good sign. I'm gonna invite several nobles to court possibly get someone with a good martial skill to become a better marshal. I definitely want you to do that. You should try to try to be a little careful about replacing landed marshals though because you'll piss off your counts and reduce your overall levy. I don't think this guy is a count. You can tell just by looking at their their circle. Yeah, he's just a normal, he's a regular dude. Oh man, being a Christian again, it's been so long. Fabricating claims has got to be the only thing I can do. I miss being Norwegian in that re for that reason. Who are you trying Before to fabricate claims against? Navarra? Eh, fair enough. Fortunately, we have all these juicy Muslims to attack. <laughs> but I, I kind of want to expand my base lands first and take what's uh, kind of neighboring right now. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I like that, I mean, you're on the, the kind of side that has some of our neighbors that you can take very easily. You're right. Aragon and Navarra shouldn't put up too much of a fight. Once the war... That's when we take care of the war that we have going on in your lands. Yeah. Assuming right. one of you guys could send me like 70 dudes and I could... Uh... Where? To where? Oh, wait. I have literally 71. I think I need four men to start this siege in the bottom right of uh, Portugal. Okay. Oh, okay. I see it. Our sister's trying to kill me now. With she a just, plot? Uh, we just caught her. Yeah, she's trying to plot okay. against me. Yeah. Oh, but she'll she'll accept my request to end the plot. So that's... It's nice of her. That is nice of her. Really? Yeah. I mean, think about it. She could have been so much worse. That's one of those things I always thought was a little gamey with CK2. It's just like, okay, fine. I won't try to kill you anymore. I promise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do I trust you? I don't worry about it. In reality, I'm like, oh, wait. The the war that we're fighting in Portugal is at 100%. All right. You can end that then. <laughs> maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> so now's the time to go on the offensive because you've just united your country. Mm -hmm. You could even release that guy. And get more levy out of him. The uh, Duke Nunu, Nuno. Uh, I'm just gonna march into Zahara, Zahara here and help you just crush this guy. We're about to siege the top holding, and she'll surrender. And then okay, she well. is going to the Ublet. Oh no! Your sister. Fantastic. All right, we have unified our country, sort of kingdoms. I mean, okay. kind of. <laughs> Marching my troops home. So well we, done. I've got stuff in Navarra to take care of here. We Thank should probably wait until we actually have like heirs. To go off to war, but uh, we... That's what I, I'm a little nervous to do much when my heir is one of you. <laughs> well, yeah, same. Also, my wife is 15, so I've got to wait a little while on that one. I mean, my wife is... Oh, no! Oh, no! 
I have to get rid of her. What happened? Oh, she's celibate. Oh, you married a <laughs> I saw genius and I just clicked marry. <laughs> you ah, celibate one. Oh no. Here. That's awful. Am I oh, your is, heir? I like that. Let's, let's plot to kill her. Maybe we can we can do that. Can you yeah, just can you invite me to the plot? You, that work? Yeah, actually I can. I think I can. I'll well, join it as strong. well. God, I'm sorry. It's like <laughs> we're just having our, our weekly meet and drink, talking about our kingdoms and <laughs> everything, and uh, I'm just like, yeah, my wife, she just doesn't put out. I actually the room is over here like, you know what? Let's just kill her. I can't actually invite you, Northern Line, because you are not in the uh you're not in the same court. Mm. It it might be better if um if you start the plot because me? your courtiers don't like me. Alright, go ahead and cancel it off then. Uh kill her. I'm sorry, you you are phenomenal otherwise. <laughs> Except for the part where she doesn't sleep with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well look. It's a real problem in the you know, middle ages. Alright, none of my courtiers want to join either, so Jesus. Um I'll just invite you guys to the plot though. What's going on in the rest of the world here? Weird. I don't, I don't think I can invite you, any of you, to the plot, actually. Yeah, because we don't share a court with her. Yeah, it'd be better if one of you did it, I guess, and then I just join. I figure our plot power would be higher that way. Do you guys I... see, like, Hereford only... up here? This is crazy. Mm -hmm. In England. Yeah, or there's still a it? lot of, uh, nor, like, whoa, that is interesting. Oh, that was awful. God, can I request a divorce? No, <laughs> why? Because I don't have 100 piety. In prison, assassinate. I could pay the money to assassinate her, but it's not really worth it. Hmm. Especially with a fifty percent, essentially fifty percent chance of getting caught. Ugh. I'm just waiting for this fruit to ripen. Yeah, betrothed can marry. So, could Ooh. one of you lend me like forty gold, please? I I need to uh, just send me a gift, little one. I got you. I got you. Cause I'm, I'm wow. The only way I can send you a gift is if I send you 113 gold. <laughs> I'll give it right. You know, I'll give it right back. I will. I just need to be positive Sent. so that I can declare a Go. war. You can't declare war you're while done. you're bankrupt. Because right now, Badajoz is fighting against some other Muslims. There's a great opportunity to swoop in and take over half of their land. So, in fact, right now, Northern Line, if you wanted to, you should declare a holy war on Badajoz over the Duchy of Beja. Where the heck we is could just, Badajoz? Uh, it's directly south of us. I have it. We're all worried about your wars, and I just want to fucking be divorced. The best way oh, to do it, press, press I... And I. then you're looking at the Duchy of Beja. Is what oh, you okay. So I can imprison her and then just kill her, but people would hate me. That's a terrible idea, actually. So it, who is it, the it, person like, that I'm declaring war on here? The the guy that's to the right of that, which is actually in the Duchy of, of Badajoz. Is it Amir He's, Abu Bakr? Yep. And if you declare war over Badajoz, then I, you know, we're both going after the same target. But if you declare war on the one next to it, ah, I see. We can kind of do a two, two forced attack, two pronged attack here. I see. We're both. Oh, I'm just uh, zooming out real quick. France is completely fractured, and Aquitaine's back. Oh wow. Yeah, England is all sorts of weird too. It's now Mercia instead of Hereford. See that? Weird. Yeah. And England is now like in Normandy. I have discovered a plot where Count Munio of Asturias. Seeks to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Castile. It's not me. Give you your money back now, if I can. Oh, I have to give you 147, apparently. <laughs> You're a little bit... And he won't And he won't end his plot, so i got to try and imprison him. You're a bit greedy, I think, there, Mathis. <laughs> what happened? You, you lend me 110, you want 145 back? Come on. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> it, there's interest in that loan. Apparently. Um, who is this guy? He's just my vassal. I guess I'll just try and imprison him. Yep, I got him. Nice. Alright, sir, what do you got? Who are you? You are the Count of Asturias. So I could just take that away from you, I guess. Oh my god, these men are the slowest marchers. Oh, people will be mad if I take it away from him, even though he plotted to take it away from me initially. You what? Do you the have to throw him in prison special. first? He is in prison, and I can't and I like if I take it away, uh, my other vassals will be minus twenty. Oh, check it out. La Mancha is beating up the army of the guy that we're attacking. That's awesome. Much appreciated. Yes. Feel the hate. I hope the Muslims... <laughs> can, we just, can we focus here for a second? I need to kill my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. All right. I, I'll, I'll try to plot to kill her again, and I don't know. Maybe we can get her. I'll send Thank my you. chancellor over, and hopefully we can I can get someone in your court to like me. And then maybe I'll be able to kill her. 
Oh, good. My wife wants a horse. Sorry, honey. All these, uh, all these will be breeders. Ah, uh, you're a mean dude, man. That's. Right, well, just piss her off. Take it. I know. All right, I accepted. Let's try and get rid of her. Is there any way to get rid of celibate? No. Nope. 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 We're awful. we're only at forty nine percent plot power. That's better than nothing. Okay. And that's our signal, basically. Yeah. Yep. All right. So we're gonna be splitting these videos up. Uh, that'll be the end of episode one. I think we established some good stuff here. Uh, we, we've, you know, consolidated our lands a little bit. Mathis has made uh, the most grave marital mistake in Crusader Kings <laughs> 2 history, and it's created some drama to move forward for. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all the support on the videos in the form of likes and, of course, uh, subscriptions if you want to see more. Make sure to go check out Mathis and Arumba's channels located in the video description below to see some more uh, high-level CK2 play as opposed to myself. I don't know if I'd call you high-level, but thank you. <laughs> well, in any Sounds case... Good. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll be back very shortly, especially from our end with uh, another video. But again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye.